Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be quickly teaching you guys how to create a horizontal scroll and a vertical scroll in your application. As you scroll vertically, the bottom navigation bar remains fixed and also our status bar and this Instagram menu. I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve all of this in a few minutes. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of this video helpful. So guys, in order to create a horizontal scrolling effect on this particular story section, and a vertical scrolling effect on the entire page. The first thing we need to do is to understand the structure of this particular Instagram homepage design. So here we have a group of stories, as you can see here. But I'm just going to hit Command Shift G to ungroup it. You can see individual stories on its own. But I want to create a consistent um, spacing between them. So I'm going to hit Shift A. You can leave yours as a group of items. Um, but I'm just going to hit Shift A just because um, I want to be able to increase the sizing and spacing between them just like the way you see here. So I'm going to leave this like this and I'm just going to bring this frame back into um, our artboard just as you can see here. So this particular part of the design is not visible and that is because the entire frame, this iPhone 13 mini here, has this clip content check. If I uncheck this, you're going to see that the contents of this um, is overflowing outside so I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to clip its content back so what we can do from here um, is to go to our prototype um, go to this overflow section and click on horizontal scrolling right so we want to be able to scroll horizontally for these stories but if I go ahead to play our prototype and I hit refresh you're going to notice that the entire page is what is scrolling horizontally and there is this huge white space around here which is definitely not what we want we want to be able to scroll only this section so in order to do that you're going to notice that we added the horizontal scroll in this overflow section on this particular um, frame here which is not what we want to do we are going to need to create a frame for this particular story section and add that horizontal scroll on that particular frame so i'm going to click on this 13 mini and i'm going to revert back to no scrolling because we don't want to scroll horizontally here so for this here as you can see here um, this particular frame it could be a group of items just like you have what you want to do is to right click on it and click on frame selection so once you've clicked on frame selection what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it back into this ad board but as you can see that this particular frame is overflowing in this ad board and um, if you go ahead to click on this particular frame that i've just created and give it a horizontal scroll just like we did for the parent frame for this iphone 34 mini here and you go back to our prototype you're going to notice that you can scroll but it's not completely scrolling um, perfectly the way we want it so all we are going to do is to go back to this section and we want to reduce this frame that we just created here what you want to do is to reduce this frame so that the um the child frame which is this it could be a group for you this group of elements or group of items is um longer than the parent frame that we just created just like the way the group was initially um larger than this iphone 13 pro mini so we're going to click on this frame and reduce it by holding command come to the edge here hold down command click and drag to the edge of this particular design board so I'm going to leave that and once we go back to our prototype and refresh, you're going to notice that we can now scroll to the end of this, which is typically what we want. But as you can notice at the end of this, we need um, some spacing um, here if you want it to scroll perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead in this, our frame here, I'm going to go ahead to add a little bit of left and right padding of let's say 10 pixel to it and I'm going to move this frame all the way to the end right so I'm also going to adjust it here hold down command click and drag and now we should have um, a complete perfect scroll so once you scroll to the end you see a little bit of space before and you're going to see a little bit of space after so that's how you can create a horizontal scroll and in order to create a vertical scroll it's exactly the same thing so if we click on this iphone 13 mini here this is our frame that we are working with switch to our prototype and we click on vertical scroll you're going to see this information icon here that says for scrolling to work on this frame the content needs to be bigger than the frame and you're getting this because we don't have any content overflowing so if i go to the design and uncheck this you're going to notice there's no overflow item vertically we only had one horizontally and that's why we could set the horizontal scrolling but we don't have 
um, a vertically overflowing item so what i'm going to do is to add this particular post to this frame so if i go ahead to add this post to this frame just below it just like this um, and we go ahead to click on this and clip its content um, you can notice that once we go back to our prototype we don't have that information again and we can scroll vertically if i go back to our prototype hit refresh you can see that we can scroll vertically but we need to put some things um, in place we need to leave our status bar and also this instagram menu and also the bottom navigation bar while scrolling so how do we achieve that i'm going to go back to my designs and here we are going to find here i'm going to first remove this and i'm going to bring out this bottom navigation bar and then insert this post back what you could do is you could click on this particular second tile that you want to add um, and also click on this first one and hit shift a to um, align it or you can hit the command g to create a group so basically you might want to um, fit both of them together in a single container then fit both of them in your designs right so the next thing you want to do is to bring in this bottom navigation bar i'm just going to bring it in but as you can see as i'm trying to fit it it's trying to fit inside one of these particular items so what i'm going to do is to click on this container that we just created and i'm going to turn on this lock icon so that we won't be able to make edits to it i'm then going to bring this bottom navigation bar and fit it in our um, design frame here so once we've successfully added the bottom navigation bar and you can see that we can't select this particular frame because it's locked you can go ahead to uncheck this locked item here to just make it editable back now in order to make this section fixed it's really simple you're just going to click on the section you want to fix um, its position then you're going to switch to the prototype and this is part of the reasons i decided to make this video again because some of the uis of um, where you find certain features have been changed an example is this positioning feature before the positioning feature was um, definitely in this design panel here but now you can find it in the prototype section uh, and you can see here positioning and we can set it to fixed stay in place we will do the same thing for this second one um, it's going to be fixed stay in place and we are going to do the same thing for the bottom navigation menu so it's going to be fixed stay in place so once we fix those three items we can go back to our prototype and try to scroll and as we scroll you can notice that um, all these items that we made fix have been fixed including the bottom navigation bar but you can see there is a little spacing between the status bar and the instagram um, menu so i'm just going to move this a little bit to the top so that um, there is no space at all and i'm going to go back to our prototype and as you can see this works perfectly so guys here is how you can create a vertical and horizontal scroll in your mobile application design thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video bye for now and i'm going to see you in my next video